Okay, recently I went to Massachusetts and I had a lot of fun and I decided to make a travel vlog about it with photos. Enjoy! So, first I went to Salem and after I got off the plane, I we rented a car and drove all the way to Salem to see the witch trials. And while we were getting there, I saw the architecture and man, it's different from Western US. Like... In the western U.S., I don't know if you've been there, but it's all the houses are kind of crap, except for the few ones that stand out. All the houses here are complete, greatly awesome, except for the houses that are bad. And a lot of the architecture feels like it's in England, but it is a place of its own, which I like and is fun. So I went to see the witch trials with my family and all those people were crazy like they do whatever it took to get you to be guilty and we walked around after that for a little bit and saw all the old buildings and and it felt like I was in England which I lived there for three years. I have to say like this day wasn't that bad. And we ate at a pub, Irish pub, for dinner, actually. I ordered fish and chips. And fish and chips on the coast, it is great and awesome because it's right off the coast, so the fish is fresh. Whereas if you live in, like, say, South Dakota, it's really raw uh, and stale because of the importing it. But I have to say, I really enjoyed seeing all the architecture of... Massachusetts, specifically Salem, I mean, and after that we drove around for an hour and saw the coast, and you could actually see the Boston from the coast, actually, on one of the uh, roads, at, and it's in the distance, but you can definitely see it, and all the houses here, once again, are really awesome, except for the few that aren't, and... I really enjoyed this first day of this trip, and it just tells you how beautiful New England can be. And my favorite part was going to the coast. And yeah, now we're gonna head over to my next day. Okay, so now we're in, going to look at Rockport. So in Rockport, I really enjoyed as well on the second day. We, he saw old buildings again, and we saw a lot of cute stores op closed for business, unfortunately, because it was, they're only open during the summer, but I really liked walking around and seeing the old architecture once again, and seeing the coast, it's really beautiful, the only problem with seeing this town was, it was really cold, like, it, 45 degrees there is like, 35 degrees it's not that warm outside but I re really enjoyed the coast and the ocean view made up for it and the architecture did as well and it has a lot of cool houses I have to admit like these aren't like cheap old houses like how they try to make it on purpose and I really loved Rockport. Now we're going to look at Boston. So on the first day of Boston, I got to see a view from a hotel. Oh, and I went up Prudential Tower, which you're going to see in a few seconds. And yeah, so like it has an incredible view. One thing I noticed when I was up in Prudential Tower is that a lot of the streets there are not based on a grid unlike the western states. It's more based on cattle paths and they decided to put it over with pavement later in the uh, its life. So yeah, and up on Prudential Tower you could not only see Boston but you could see like the hells beyond it as well. It was really cool to see and I went to Boston Commons and there's a lot of cool things to see inside the park, I mean public garden, sorry. It has a cute ducklings from the duck book, I don't remember the name. 
And we finished off the day by trying to get to a pizza place, but we eventually settled on going to Harvard Yards. And I have to say, it has pretty good food. I kept doing a lot of stupid things like stealing some mints. And here's a good view of our night's view of my hotel in Boston. So on the next day, we went to do the Freedom Trail and saw the Capitol building. And I have to say, it felt like a palace. And, it, man, it was cool. It had a bunch of paintings in it, like, and statues. It was so cool. Because it, it, it's the fourth oldest Capitol building in the U.S. I don't know if you know about it. And... Yeah, it has a lot of cool paintings in it, and and it has a lot of cool stained glass in it as well. I really like the staircase part, and the part felt like Parliament in England. Like, I don't know if you've been, but a lot of this feels similar to the Parliament building in England. And I'm glad I could have the honor of seeing this. So, I went to see other bearing grounds I can't remember it right now but the subtitles in the corner like will take care of it so I saw these old church at Old North Church I saw Old State House which was where the British colonial government was and I got to see the British coat of arms I don't know if you know this but the British have coat of arms is the England is the lion and Scotland is the unicorn. It was an act of union when Scotland joined England to form the Kingdom of Great Britain in 1707, not 1808, sorry. But I also got to see a bunch of Gurian grounds and a lot of, I even got to see Paul Revere's tombstone and house. It, Paul Revere's house is the oldest house in Boston, which I happen to find really cool. And I got to see Benjamin Franklin's statue, which was a uh, honor, which because Benjamin Franklin actually lived in Boston before he moved to Philadelphia. I also got to see Elk Corner Bookstore, but the thing about it is that it's now Chipotle, and it's no longer cool to go inside. But I also got to see Fenuel Hall Marketplace and Quincy Market which were cool on the outside, but they were just standard on the inside. There isn't anything really cool. But I have to say, this part of my day was really good because we I got to have a Sloopy and uh, got a peanut butter cookie from a bakery because my parents got let us pick out sweets. It was really fun. Another thing I found really cool about Boston was that Old North Church, like one town I lived in England was Silsden, and oh, I have to say it looks a lot like Silsden did when I went. Although Boston was dominated by England, as ha it's worth noting that I learned about on this trip that it's full of Irish immigrants and it feels like Dublin somehow. I've been to Dublin, like, <laughs> a couple of years ago, and it was really cool. Oh, and, yeah, but uh, back on topic, like, it has a lot of Irish immigrants and Ireland and Italian ones. I went to Bunker Hill last part of the day and saw the bu one-up Bunker Hill monument, and it's an interesting battle. Like, even though the Americans lost... It came up with more, helped them came up with more strategic, like, I guess you say strategic strategies for fighting the British. And it was an important battle in U.S. history. And then I went over to Constitu USS Constitution, which played an important role in 1812 when the British tried to get, regain the American colonies. But the... Americans were able to stop them with this shit, and this part of the day was really cool, and I got a lot of cool pictures on this trip. I really wish I could since could say that I got more. It was cool seeing all different from my home state, which is in Colorado, and I really enjoyed going to my hey. 
a site so everyone wanted to see which was Bunker Hill and the USS Constitution and Prudential Tower. I had a really fun time on this trip, but it's not over yet. And finally, we're going to look at Harvard, who, which I actually went to. Unfortunately, it was ra raining on that day, so I didn't get... It was hard to get decent photos, so it's not going to be too many photos on this part of this video, but I still found it cool, because it felt like Cambridge, England. I've actually been to Cambridge, England, if you didn't know, but, like, it has, like, a ton of old buildings, and it was actually founded in 1635, not long after Boston was founded, only five years before, and... I have to say, it's really hard to get into. You have to have like a 4.0 or above to get in. And you can't do that by taking easy classes. You have to do that by taking hard and challenging classes. You basically have to be elite. Or, if you're famous and have a parent that's famous, you could get in easily if your parent went there. And I have to say, there was a cool college on the campus, and we tried going in the library, which was supposed to be cool, but it was closed to the public. It was, you could only go if you were a Harvard student. But other than that, like, other than the rain, of course, it was really cool seeing the architecture, and I forgot to mention this earlier in the video, but the shutters there, like, are real. They're not, like, decoration shutters. They're, like, they are actually functional. And, yeah. So, I saw all these cool buildings and went inside a bookstore, which was cool. And s saw a bunch of cool churches and the parks as well. It was really fun day. We also went into the art museum, but I didn't take any pictures of it, so... I'm sorry about that, but I really enjoyed seeing around Harvard, and it was really worth visiting. This was my first time going to Massachusetts, and I have to say, I really enjoyed it. We tried to go up to Vermont as well, but we didn't have time on this trip. Oh, and we saw my aunt, my great aunt and uncle at my a at Fennio Hall. Oh, when we un went to Boston, too, which I really enjoyed, because that was my first time seeing them. Anyway, so, I went to see, we were going to see Maine, New Hampshire as well, but we didn't have enough time. But, I really have to say, the parts I did see, I really enjoyed in Massachusetts, and I really hope I get to go here again, because... Because so it was really a unique, special trip for me. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And subscribe and like if you want to see more content like this. And, and there's going to be a documentary that I'm going to include with it soon. Thanks for watching. And have a good day. Peace out.